Hey, what's up? I'm gonna re replace the air filter on my 2019 Ram 1500. It's gonna be a straightforward install, so make sure you stay tuned and let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, open the door, pop your hood, get to your hood latch, push it to the left, open your hood, locate the air box, which is right here, and then we're gonna open it up. All right, so the air box has six bolts. It's got three on this side, and three on this side, and they're all 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna take those off and pull the top half of the air box off. So you don't need a power tool like this to unfasten the bolts. You, you can use just a typical socket wrench. Uh, I have this just to save me some time. Uh, but once you have all the bolts unfastened, you can go ahead and take off the air box, the top half of the air box, and you don't really have to worry about these bolts or screws, whatever you want to call them, for, to come out because they typically stay on the top half of the air box. And as you can see, I'm pulling it and it doesn't want to come out, you kind of have to twist it for it to come out. And now we're going to get to the filter which is right here. Okay, so now that we have the uh, top half of the air box out of the way, we're going to take the air filter out which you can kind of pry at the edges. A flathead screwdriver might help. Uh, we're going to pull it out and looking at mine, it really doesn't look too bad. My truck doesn't have that many miles on it, but I have a Canon air filter ready to go in so we're just going to replace it. All right, so here is the K&N air filter. Um, just gonna toss that, toss that. And here is the air filter itself. We're gonna drop it in just like the factory one was. And if you are looking for this air filter, I'll either leave a link in the description below or I'll leave the part number for the actual filter. Um, but now that it's back in, time to put the top half back on. All right, so now that the air filter is in, uh, we're going to take the top half of the air box and put it back on. And if you guys want to watch some more RAM installation videos, I'll leave a link up in the top right corner here. Make sure you guys go check those out. You guys might find those useful. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and put this back on. If you're using a power tool like I am, make sure you don't hammer it down. Uh, I am putting mine on, the low, on its lowest setting to make sure I, I don't do that. You can even strip it with a normal socket if you, if you wrench it too hard because you are fastening it into the plastic. So uh, regardless of what you're using, you can strip it. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fasten those down. Okay, so now that the KNN air filter is installed, I'm gonna give you guys a sound clip just in case you guys wanna check that out. So here we go. Make sure you guys go watch my other RAM videos, and if you guys found this video useful, please give it a like. I would really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more content on this RAM 1500, but I also make other automotive content, so make sure you guys go check them out. Thanks for watching. Hey! <laughs> Leave them up in the... I burp. Uh...